welcome you guys to Among Us. But we are talking about our top five games of 2020. So these are going to be all games that him and I both have either played together or just played in general. It's going to be just our games, our picks. He's it's not going to be. That I haven't played. Yeah, because really like I said, it's going to be the personal games that we've played of this year. And uh, we're just going to be playing. We got Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. Let's see if we can even join a match. Of course not. Of <laughs> course we cool. can't. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you start off oh. and start with your number okay. five game. Well, is it okay if I can actually look at my list? <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay, there's, like, yeah, I, there's, no, there's nothing okay, stopping you. It's a... like, I'm going to have to look at mine. Because like, <laughs> like, I don't have them actually numbered about what, like from five to Oh, four. yeah. So, so, you so I just made a at... list and that was it. But uh, t to the f number five spot, um, I have not finished playing it, but... I, I, I didn't want to put this like any higher or anything because it's just one of those games that I just didn't want to. <laughs> what? I, I'm trying to think of the words. Um, it just didn't seem like I wanted to finish it, I guess. Like it's too long. Okay, but it was a pretty okay, good game. What, what, what game is it? Uh, Dragon Ball. The which, Dragon Ball Kakarot game. Yeah, Dragon Ball yeah. Kakarot. Yeah. I uh, loved it. I heard a lot of mixed um, games. It's way oh, too is, long this for is me. Touch. The, okay, oh, I did it. Yeah, we're playing it on the Switch, <laughs> so it's it's kind of weird. Uh, the game is, and honestly, to me, too long. And See, I, I'm about halfway. I'm about halfway done with it. <laughs> you got me. And I'm, I'm, I guess you could say I'm around. Uh, mm, I guess the cell part. Uh, whenever the cell you, saga, yeah, that's where you're at. The cell saga with uh, you're you're with Piccolo and he's fighting the first form of yeah. cell. When, once he fuses with Kami and everything, um, but overall I enjoyed the game. I still will play it. It's just I'm very slow with that one because there's too many games already out. There's there's a lot of games. So 2020 was the year for video games. Yeah, but you enjoyed the game enough to get yeah, it's in my top five. Your, yeah, your number five spot yeah. for 2020 games. And that was a whole buff. RPG, right? That yeah. They had. Oh, yeah. It wasn't like the. Uh, what it's is it? a lot Oniverse, more different. Xenoverse, whatever it's called. Uh, Xenoverse. Xenoverse. It's yeah, a lot different from Xenoverse because this one has a lot more. Um, what do you call it? Um, open worded aspects. Yeah. Like you're not just confined to. Yeah. A, like, the same story. Yeah. We've the been, same. <laughs> yeah. This been one's playing for the past. You can, you can do side quests. You can do all kinds of things, running around the city, running into things. So. Yeah. Uh, I did enjoy it, and it's in my top. It's number five, my top five. Number five in your top five. Yeah, number five, <laughs> my top five. <laughs> uh, for me, what did I put down? Because for me, the number five spot. It's a game I feel like deserved better. Oh, my flashlight's on. Oh, <laughs> I can see it on, on the screen. It was to me a game that it had a not, lot of nostalgia to it. It came back out end of April, and it was uh, Streets of Rage 4. That was my, my number five for uh, 2020. Just because, I, th like I said, there were so many games that came out. Oh, yeah. And I feel like, for me, I don't know, I want to put that game at higher, but with everything that I've played and the games that I discovered, like there was there was just so many. And I know that it definitely needed to be in the it's my top five of this year because I think I played like 30 hours into it. And you played the entire so, series. Yeah, well, That's you know, we made yeah. videos on yeah. the whole entire series. So I, and then they're talking about DLC for it, which I'm excited for. And then just I hope, I hope they do good with it. I'm not in I'm not in rush for DLC or another game, but it definitely was fun, and I was I felt like a kid again at my grandparents at Lola and Lulu's playing it. And they played very good homage to the original games, and so I was I'm, I was so happy over that. But that game, it was. Or I remember for my birthday of year, this year, that was that's what I did with my birthday. I, you got the. I well, I all I did was because it came out relatively because it was at the end of April. My birthday was at the beginning of May, and for my birthday, all I did was drink and play <laughs> play Streets of Rage Four. Like that was my evening. Like that was the day. Like I I took that day off from work and then. I didn't have really any plans, plus COVID, you guys, COVID ha is was here too, so it wasn't like we were going to go out anywhere, but 
all I did was just spend that day playing Streets of Rage. I just played the mess out of it, and I drank, and I was just chilling. It was nice. I, I genuinely enjoyed that birthday of uh, this year with just doing that. Like, that, like, there was no other real, like, good feeling in that moment than just doing that <laughs> for my birthday, and that was it. And I was so content and happy. But that, my number five is going to go to that in my top five, yeah. Streets of Rage 4. It was a definitely fun game. What uh? What do you got next, man? Why am I always dying? Why am I the first to always die? We're just trying to do tasks, man. We're just trying to do these tasks. Wait, are you still doing a task while even though you're dead? Yeah, I know you can do that. Yeah, because you haven't played this that much, have you? No, I've not I've, at all. Yeah, Caden no. hasn't played Among Us nah, at all. I've uh, I played it f the first few times with uh with y'all when y'all. No, first yeah, because what you do, you gotta start the tasks when you die. You gotta finish them as a ghost. Oh, okay. Like you can still win. Okay, okay. Well, uh, for my number four spot, um. I don't believe you played it. I think you've seen it quite a bit. But uh, for my fourth one, I'm going to give it to uh, Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal? Um, that is one I actually finished and played, and I'm really excited to get in the uh, expansion for it. Um, the music. I just love the rock the music soundtrack. they have. It. Yes. Um, I don't have the capabilities of running it like at the higher frames that they can go yeah what, what what console did you get it for uh for the playstation you got it for ps4 yeah okay um i do like the the newer uh executions that they uh that they put in the game uh it's a lot more bloody and just uh, it feels <laughs> so good it just feels so yeah. good our grandma caught me playing one day <laughs> and yeah, she's like oh my she god say? King, what name say? that's just she's like yeah that, go that's, on to hell <laughs> like I'm like, well, I'm technically in hell. I killed these dudes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you should have told her. I'm already in hell. I'm trying to <laughs> rid rid hell of all the demons. Of all in the it. demons. Uh, but no, it's very, very fun. I, I enjoyed that it. That game got some nominations this year. But they, surprisingly, they didn't win a single thing. They didn't get a single, they didn't get a single so, thing. I'm a I mean, they got nominated, but they didn't I win I feel like you would anything. have to give it to, like, the... Shoot, what they get nominated for? Like the best what score? I think action, and score, game of the year, and I think a I couple would, of others maybe in there. I, I mean, don't know. I know it's not maybe game of the year worthy because yeah, there's not really say, a big story so. you have to follow in that game. You're just going from one place to the next, just mowing down demons, doing it in style and everything. Yeah. Um, but I would, I would, I mean, I would either think they would win it for like the the best. Uh, um, score of the music or something because i do know the the guy that does it he's so dedicated man i wish Kinda we like had uh, pulled up who won game of the year stuff oh the ones that uh yeah we had the list in front of us oh yeah but i mean that i don't want to talk about that no, i'll yeah, talk about our top five because yeah. i don't know how long this video might be for my number four i gave to what everyone was playing at the beginning of quarantine and that is animal crossing new horizons that was the first animal crossing game i've ever played and I mean, I had a switch, so I was like, I gotta get it. Why not? I've That's why I, why I got it. And for the time that it came out, honestly, that game could not have come out at a better time. I mean, we, we, we everyone was in the start of quarantine, so what everybody do? We played Doom Eternal. I mean, Doom, Doom Eternal. <laughs> we played Doom Eternal. My bad. I'm trying to focus on this and this at the same time. I, I apologize. What I said. Uh, no, we played Animal Crossing: New Horizons. <laughs> Sorry, it's been it's been a minute. <laughs> Not all there today. But I mean, I loved it. I mean, it was fun to be get all my friends us visit each other's islands. Since we were all quarantined, none of us had really got to see each other, so it was a nice way for us Just to interact with each right other. Thing. Yeah, through the game and take screenshots of our characters together <laughs> and doing emotes and it seems like a just game everything. That would granted, at the sleep. time <laughs> that the game did come out, yeah, there wasn't honestly too much to do. Like, I. Well, I thought there was going to be, like, adventures and quests. Like, it didn't have any of that. It was, like, literally a simulator. And if you already a knew about simulator. Animal Crossing, like, that's what it's that's what it is. That's what it's known for. And at the time, I didn't really know that. I just looked at it, and I saw I this, like, well, this looks good. Like games. Yeah, but, I mean, it, it still is very fun in whenever you can. Like, like they go with, like, the real-world seasons and stuff, the which is really cool. Right yeah, yeah, like... Like, whenever it starts to become fall, like, in the game, it will literally become fall. I do like that. That's that, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and then the time of day as well. Like, it, like it really tracks the time of day and tracks uh, all of that. Yeah, so the, the world feels very alive, but it also, on the other hand, flip side of that, it feels very empty at the same time to me. Like, once I did get 
into it and I did do almost pretty much everything for it I I didn't feel really the need to play it anymore like like I said I liked more of like the actual quests and things to do like that's what I liked doing right. and uh, once I did all that I was pretty much done with it I didn't really care for like building my whole island into this dream island that you come and visit like some people some people went crazy man like they had all kinds of stuff in the game they created whole crazy worlds in the game and they did a very good job with it too but for me i didn't really care for that aspect of it i mean you were in there just to kind of i was in there yeah to do the quests have fun or and then yeah follow the characters buy stuff decorate here and there but not really be too heavily into it but uh, like it was very so fun. I mean, like I spent resources. like 85 hours into it. Like, that's a lot of hours. I that's spent that much. That's the most RPGs I've seen you go in. Yeah, but I played mm-hmm. that, and I'm going to give that for my thing. top four out of my top five. That's going to get number four out of my top five, <laughs> if that sounds better. I don't know. <laughs> my number four my top five. Wait, how'd you say it the first time? I, my top four <laughs> oh. out of my top five. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's I not mean. a top four. <laughs> top five <laughs> it's list. It's your number four. <laughs> No one's uh, objected. I guess no one could. Somebody couldn't find anybody. I guess not. Huh. Off to number three. All right. What, what's your so, number three spot? I don't think you've also heard of this one or played it. But my number three, uh, I put it, I went towards uh, Remnant from the Ashes. I did hear of it. It's a, it's a lot. It's a Souls-like it. game um, that replaces swords and shields for basically weapons. There's not a lot of uh, armor sets or weapons like there is in a Souls game. Um, yeah. It's a lot more open area than I would say Souls would be. Uh, the, yeah, the game is definitely hard. You, um, it's just like, um, it's it's so Souls. Like You get the three-man uh, team. Um, each one comes with, a, um, there's three different classes. Each class is very detrimental to um, how the game plays out. Remnant. My third, uh, my top five. Third game, top yeah. five. Um, for my third one, which honestly it's very hard to push to a number three spot, but man, really, I died. <laughs> I'm so upset with that. You're and they were accusing me of it being it too, and <laughs> sure enough, it was. Orange. Oh, they they actually tried to. Yeah, they were accusing me the whole time in the chat. Like but I called them like, out. Oh. But uh, my top three be wrong my top third one third game from 2020 was the last of us part two now that's pretty low in my opinion but i really did think hard about this but the way i viewed and the way i judged it was based off of is a big thing for me was playtime and um whenever i had my playtime i only played like probably 50 60 hours in total for the last of us part two i did everything for it it's platinumed all of that there's just something about when they didn't add factions or multiplayer when they didn't add that to it or like even to now we're all the way in december and they still don't have it like i don't know i feel like you guys should have had it by now or at least shown a trailer something for us i honestly thought they were going to release it holiday season here we are and they didn't do it so I'm just kind of like, man, I don't know when you guys are going to actually do it. And not only that, that game was a very controversial game for good reason. No, yeah. That whole story, like, the experience that game put me through, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I was pretty out of it for, like, probably a good week, week or two after I passed it, as far as just mentally where I was at and everything that they had done. Because that whole experience that I had with the game was completely different versus the first game where first game i went in had no emotions didn't feel anything if anything i thought naughty dog could have done better as making you feel for the characters and then bam we get hit with the second game which if you guys already haven't i mean spoilers i mean you guys already know what happens or you at least should if you're watching this by now or maybe you're not you don't care you don't plan to play it but you guys already know and then I mean, just doing that to Joel like they did, like, I don't know, That's that's that was very heavy and very hard to swallow. But honestly, if they didn't pace the game the way they did, it would have not have had the same impact. It wouldn't have. We would have been more accepting of Joel's death if we knew what he had done and who Abby was. But the fact that we did not know who she was and this random ass character oh, yeah. just kills off a beloved character like she did... 
and then you see it unfold now you kind of start to you start to kind of fight yourself a little because you're like because you yeah like you, f- you feel a little in <clears throat> like you feel different now because you don't really know because you understand why it happened and why she did what she did but you don't you don't want that or you don't want to accept that and then just honestly even to the ending of the game you go that far to kill her and then she doesn't like I feel like killing her should have honestly have been an option. I feel like I would have gotten real closure if I got to kill Happy. Yeah, because you go to this big, st- this big journey across the country. Yeah, the well, everything to go kill her character, like, and then, and then at the end she doesn't do Nothing it. Happens, like, I yeah. feel like they honestly should have given like, it the player's option around. because they, they kind of jerked around. Like, if you had an option to kill Abby, would you have done it or no? Because I know you, uh, you, you were very in the middle I as was, far as yeah, I was, uh, the characters. I was kind of, yeah, in the middle and everything. I think at first, I don't think I would have killed her on my first playthrough. Yeah, and then you would have just but, done yeah, it again like, uh, just how to the see, game, see how yeah, it is. How the game plays out and everything. No, I, w- I think I, w- I just got more, I wouldn't say emotional while playing the game. I think I kind of got hooked um, by them trying to set the story up and everything. Not really hooked in a good way, more like I kind of fell victim to how they are making the story play out. So I kind of, I, I kind of got... I get, uh, what was the, like, not sapped in, uh. You, you, um, you like the character. I, 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 like, I, I yeah, don't know, I, I don't know how to, yeah, what I mean, else, what, I like what the characters they're about. presenting, but I just wish they would have done it in a different way to where, you know, there's just so much more. And see, like done. I said, though, no, I don't think they could have done, they could have changed that any more than what they did. I mean, it's like, like not like, showing her killing, you know, doing stuff what she's doing at the beginning of a game. And then trying to make us feel for her nah. halfway through the game, it's like that. That you no. you lost your audience at the beginning yeah. of the game, and I understand that. And I mean, they knew the risks of that game, and I mean, I was every... perfectly fine with the game winning game of the year. I feel like, I feel like this one def- definitely did have a lot more gameplay versus the, the first, first one. one. First one it was kind of clunky. This one felt a lot more natural and smooth. smooth. Yeah, but it was also just so damn long, like. Like I, I think my first playthrough, I played like thirty hours. That was the that was Dang, what I did. Like Abby's sections were like, always just and as then long honestly, as... yeah. When I got to Abby section of the game, I really just wanted to pat be done. Like I wanted to pass it already, and I was like, damn. I was like, we're gonna do all the days with her now. And then I know they were trying to get you to like feel for her character, but for me, I was still like, okay, I'll I'll feel for you in the moments because I'm playing as you, but I'm like, nah. The second I'm Ellie, I'm murdering your ass. Like that's all I kept thinking about the whole time. Like. And I mean, I felt the rage of that game, and then by the end of it, I was just. But like, they take I, it away from you. At the end, yeah, I I felt empty at the end, and I didn't get closure. They they literally just kind of strung you along, and, thinking you are gonna get some type of closure. Yeah, and then and you, with... you just don't, and and see, but though I thought so deep that I was like, that's like in life, in life you're not gonna get that closure that you want out of no. things, and so I thought about it too, and I was like, well, you know what, this game's not any different at this point for, from real life to the game now because. How much people have loved these characters for years it's been a long time since we've had the first game release and the amount of relationships people have built upon characters at the end of the day it's not real the character's not real but in those moments like it, it's what happens you can't control what happens to you you can get in a car wreck tomorrow like all kinds of things so life's never certain so why should this game be any different or it, it once i started thinking more like that then i was more accepting of the game and everything that had happened because before i wasn't really accepting but i kept the open mind whereas other people were just like man fuck this game <laughs> fuck it no, they yeah, messed it not, up I this is garbage the... making this garbage writing but i didn't i i thought it was honestly beautifully done now whether or not you accept it it's totally that's completely you, yeah. on you they've all voted for me i don't know why i'm not i'm i'm just doing my job that's all i'm doing for my crew but uh with how much runtime we already got uh that's my top third game out of my top five i don't know if that's somewhere for you it probably will we can probably talk about it a little bit more uh, <laughs> but that was well the last that, of us part two goes that, to that my, thing, uh, my number three go ahead um well yeah i mean seeing you put it as your number three i kind of feel kind of way up there because I put, hey, I put you Last did. of Us on uh, my second. Th- that's your my second? My top two, yeah. This is your top two um, out of the five. I was thinking of putting them in the top one because so I you, did enjoy the game. It felt f- just flawless, you know? Everything yeah. just rolled and everything. 
I mean, the graphics, the the world. I I just love the world of The Last of Us. Yeah. The post-apocalyptic, you know, overgrown nature. Yeah, just the world like, reclaiming it, it seems, itself. Yeah, it, it seems really realistic. Yeah. That's exactly how it would be in the in the future to me. Um, if we did have an apocalypse like yeah, that. Yeah, I was about to say, wait, wait, wait yeah. what kind of future are you looking forward to? I, <laughs> I hope mean, it's not that. Cause I mean, it just. I don't want that as a future. <laughs> the, the fungus and everything, uh, yeah. that whole aspect, that was very genius for someone to think of and everything because that just seems so natural because just of how vegetation just. Yeah, it's, it, it's, just it's so. Yeah, it's. Um, yeah, graphically wise. And then the soundtrack, I didn't like it as much as the first one, but yeah, it was still good. really good. The first one had some really like, good. It was like an old glove or like riding a bicycle yeah. playing The Last of Us Part 2. And the, it was even better. <laughs> the Last of Us 2 did something that The Last of Us didn't do. It actually scared me. It did? It actually scared me with the fact of the. Uh, uh, oh, was what just the story? What was happening? Uh, not or... only the story, the the actual overall the characters, some of the characters, some of the uh, factions you meet. Yeah. Um, I generally got scared because uh, what what do you call them? They're the ones that like whistle. Oh, they, the I, Seraphites. Yes. The, ser- the, they, the they Seraphites actually, did scare me. They they they, they scare me because like it's like when you first meet them, you get a that was arrow shot in you. Well, that was like guerrilla warfare, and I'm like, my God, that was guerrilla Hiding warfare. And having yeah. To, because they, really, didn't, they didn't really talk. No. They were very quiet they and used, silent. And I was like, where the fuck are they? Like, they terrified me. You couldn't me. hear them behind you? Like, I'd be, like, hiding in a bush. And, like, all of a sudden, like, I hear yeah. a whistling. And I think it's far away. But no, they're, like, right there. Yeah. I'm like, oh, my God. We can have a whole episode on The Last of Us Part well, 2. we already but, did it, kind of. But we already recorded that. And then and I'm that was a game I never really wanted to put on the channel. Just because... I don't know, it was very intimate and very personal, and I don't know if I really wanted to share that side with you guys, because I want <laughs> this channel to be fun and exciting, and you don't, you don't, not you don't as depress boring. Your audience and just the channel might be boring to you people already, <laughs> I don't know, but it was going to be even more depressing with The Last of Us Part yeah, 2. Yeah, I don't want to be But uh, I know for my top two out of the top five, I'm going to give it to Demon Souls. Demon Souls, I had never played the original on the PS3, but when I got my PS5, I was like, okay, let me go down this, let me go down this rabbit hole, because I had played Bloodborne, I played Dark Souls, I was the only one he needed to kill, but I, I played those games, and I didn't care for Dark Souls as much as Bloodborne, like, I think I'm always gonna like uh, oh, yeah. Bloodborne better just as a series because the pace of it I like We're, it I'm and on, also just too. <laughs> and also just how scary it is like I loved that gothic like terrible evil demons and all that the nasty scary like I was scared of shit in Bloodborne these other games they're more of like medieval yeah. so I'm not as scared but man Demon Souls Bloodborne was kind of like more of a mythical kind of thing Right? Yeah, it had more of a of a mythical thing with the oh yeah for sure with yeah just of bosses, all of the like characters the that they had and stuff like that. they were they were scary as hell like I was genuinely scared of I mean, some of those things beautiful boss designs man like you can't get uh, like Dark Souls had some pretty good um, boss designs but they they outdid themselves with the Bloodborne I mean I could do a top five my favorite <laughs> <laughs> top Bloodborne. five for those. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I've spent probably 70 hours in Demon Souls and passed it like four times already. And I'm trying to platinum the game. I didn't plan on platinuming it, but I've, I've just been that hooked. And they honestly outdid themselves with this remake for Demon Souls. Cause I didn't know that it was the actual original like Souls game that they were making as far as making a series of this stuff. And just it, the the game is just so beautiful. The photo mode is beautiful. The gameplay is good. Like they did, did an excellent job on the PS5 to have that release. I don't know if I would have released it like with the launch of the console, but I mean, like people were like me, I had never played Demon Souls, so it was perfect, and I liked it a lot. Right. And I I don't regret my purchase. Like it was, it's an excellent game. Paying seventy dollars for <laughs> games now, I don't yeah, like doing, Sony but makes- I feel like that was worth doing and getting. So number two goes the Demon Souls. All right. And before we get to our top number one, we are gonna throw at least an honorable mention, just to briefly talk about it, not say too much on it, but we're gonna throw that out there as far as games that we've played, and 
just briefly to give it an honorable mention, just because because there's a shit ton of games that there came was out a this lot year. Of so games. many games that came out. Go ahead. Oh, uh, my honorable mention is uh, Crash Bandicoot Four. Oh, oh, Crash. Yeah. So Crash, you, actually, you like Crash? I did like Crash, even though it's hard as hell. <laughs> <laughs> They've been notorious uh, for that. It's part of my childhood. It's part of all '90s kids. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Should be. Um, I'm still waiting for a spiral form. To be honest. <laughs> Um, but no, like, I did like some of the new mechanics they put in Crash 4. Um, with, they got this whole, like, uh... Have you passed it yet? No! No, not yet. But it makes me so coming, hard. it keeps making me come back because yeah. how they did it, it, it just works so well. And they give you the, like, you do certain things, certain tasks and everything inside the levels. And you get, like, these skins for every, like, particular world you're in. Yeah. And it makes me keep coming back to get those skins or anything. Now, granted, they they're, you don't pay for them, so I'm happy about that. It's it's the genuine unlocking by um, actually completing, old like, you no know, old-school tasks. Yeah. Thing. It's not where, like, hey, give me, like, ten bucks for this. Give me five bucks for yeah, this. Yeah, it's not a pay-to-win, it, it pay-to-play games. Yeah, pay it's to one play of those, games. like, you actually have to... You gotta earn um, it. Yeah, you gotta earn like everything the old you got. days. And not gonna lie, I replayed so many levels of that game. I think I'm only on the third world, and I replayed like so many levels <laughs> <laughs> just because I needed to get those skins. But it's so hard because everything going so fast, and it's such a. Uh, I will say, Crash Bandicoot is probably one of my favorite uh, platform games. Yeah, one of your favorite it, it's, series. It's pretty flawless. Yeah. And that's that's my honorable mention. Uh, my honorable mention. I'm gonna give it to Ghost of Tsushima. Oh wow! Actually, just because. It was. Surprise. Uh, it's a game that I haven't I haven't passed, but I oh, okay. I did play it enough, and I don't know. For me, the game was hard as hell. Like I had to put it on the easier <laughs> difficulty, to... and then I, I it was enjoyable for me. But the the homage that they've paid to Japanese culture and just that whole time period, Sucker Punch did an excellent job, and I'm excited if they make another one. I mean, I enjoyed it. Hey, I won. I actually won. Oh, no, I, hey, I beat him, dude. I beat him while I, we <laughs> I were like, playing wait, this. I won. Still. Yeah, I won as the imposter. Wow, Dang, I didn't think is... I was going to win, but whatever. Wow. But uh, no, the colors in the game, the graphics, the music, beautifully done. Very beautifully done. Like, And then just the the how terrifying a samurai sword truly is. Like, You kill somebody within three hits, they basically kill you within three hits. So you gotta really so time even, your so stuff. Like a lot yeah, more like the deadliness of the blade. He kicked me. <laughs> Don't know why. He was well, mad. But at whatever. You. But yeah, I'm gonna give the honorable mention to Ghost of Tsushima. Oh yeah, I won't say much for the for my number top one. Uh, my top one might be a long stretch because for one, I have not finished it. I still need to. And there's only one of the entire franchise I've ever uh, completed, and I'll yeah. tell you all that in a minute. Uh, I'm gonna give my top one uh, to Final Fantasy VII. Oh, you're going to um, give your top number it's, one. It's, I've always wanted to play Final Fantasy VII, but I never uh, got around to it when I had a PlayStation 1. And I didn't know anything about Final Fantasy. I wasn't that big into it, I guess. It wasn't until Crisis Core on the PSP. Yeah. The, uh, I, the prequel? I was, yeah, I was into it so much. Um, that's the only one I actually finished and completed. Um, I kind of wish they would actually... Remake I, I that wish, one. I want. I, a honestly, of I that. just want them to port it to uh, the, really the PlayStation Store so I can score. play it on my PS4, PS5. Because that game was such like like the same thing with you. Mm-hmm. And since that is your number one game, I'm gonna go ahead and interject. <laughs> and <laughs> that was my number one game, Final <laughs> Fantasy VII Remake. That was my number one game of this year. I spent like 120 hours into it, yeah. and it's now it's just a massive game. I, yeah, I, well, I, I did. I, I did everything slowed, yeah, for it. Yeah, he, he was more like he grew up with it. Well, I kind of got into it. You know, you got late into it later. Yeah. yeah, but my it goes back for me for childhood. I would watch my dad play it, and I would try to get into it back in the day myself. But it's turn based, and it, by this time, like turn based is a thing of the past. So it was very hard to get into turn based. But since I have played the remake, I. I kind of forced myself to stick it through with the original because the they ported it to the Switch and I've been playing it for like I played like 25 hours of it and I'm like damn this game is long as hell <laughs> like I'm still playing it and granted I'm way past the part from the ori- uh, not not from the original uh, from the, the remake, remake yeah where they are story wise yeah because but take the game like still is very long 
Yeah, yeah, as far they as... They just stretched that yeah, four hours well, Yeah, how much 40. they've expanded on this remake, and just the nostalgia of the music, and then Cloud, he's always been one of my favorite characters growing up. Watching Ranked him from the movies, watching him... It wasn't Cloud, really, for me. Yeah. I, mean, I, I mean, I did like Final Fantasy for Cloud, because... He, I don't know, to me, I, whenever I see Cloud, I always think he's the face of Final Fantasy. Yeah. They, yeah. Like, when they made... I, I feel like Final Fantasy VII should have came way late in... Uh, in the in the decade and everything because it's just it's it's probably the most perfect Final Fantasy game other than Crisis Core with its story and characters um, but I always found Sephiroth to be my, always my favorite oh yeah I you, mean, if you I'm love him those, that much yeah I, I just like <laughs> Sephiroth and the big old katana thing and, geez, man, seeing I, his origin story it made me kind of like feel for him and I understood but I was also just like he was just such a powerhouse of a character. I was like, I was terrified of him. He was like, a man, strong character. We need, we need everybody for this. I'm like, I'm terrified. And you um, really get that story with uh, Crisis Core, with his backstory. Yeah, yeah, his whole backstory. Like, he starts off like, as kind of like a, as you know, I guess you could say he's somewhat of a good guy. I mean, he's he's there in the agency and anything, but as, as the game goes on, he starts to, gosh, I, remember, I, I need to like, I remember watching that movie you, you were telling me about, that Crisis Core movie. It's not really a movie, but it's yeah, that little yeah. that little short anime yeah. one that they did. They did that, and then they made Advent Children, which was the actual yeah. sequel to uh, uh, Final Core. Fantasy. Yeah, no, Final it was Fantasy just VII. the game. Yeah, it's just the game. It was yeah. a sequel to the game. It was like yeah. I think two years later, but I love that movie. And then I sat there and I love the music in that movie. And see, and the they, they pulled that Seth from Roth they pulled him. that from the original. Yes. Like that's what I love so much. That so music. and then I'm excited that Sephiroth's coming to Smash. Like that was probably my favorite thing seeing in the Game Awards was just seeing him in there's, Smash. There's one thing I have about Final Fantasy VII and their movies though, is that even though beautifully, yeah, you know, how beautifully done their action as CGI moments are. I can't see shit because they're moving so fast. Yeah, it's like everything is like gone within a split the, second. As far like, as the frames, the flashing and everything. lights, them moving about so fast, them trying to fight each other. Like I've had children was so rough the first time I watched oh, yeah. it that I couldn't tell what was going on. I had to, like literally squint my eyes to, like watch the movies. As I'm, far like, as what? RPG, I mean, it felt more like a hack and slash with RPG yeah. elements and the story. It wasn't very open world, which honestly though, with the game that massive, I don't mind that. Because it kind of directed you everywhere you needed to yeah. go. You could take and little branching paths. When I played like, the original, uh, the game doesn't tell you shit. <laughs> I know. It's like there's so many things you could do. Yeah, well, that I had to look up walkthroughs just to figure out what the hell I was doing. And then if you took a break from the game, you lost it all. So you're like, I don't even know where I'm at, <laughs> what I'm doing anymore. You're so like, seeing them like have all that mess fixed and just feel better about it, and then just the characters. I think the voice acting was beautifully done. Oh, yeah. All the characters felt very real, and the acting, like I said, it's just really good. And so I'm excited for them to have the part two. And then, like I said, I did everything for that game. I passed it on hard mode. I did all the little extra missions and bosses. Oh, you got all like, the, la- the guns leveled up for each. You got the like, characters leveled up to yeah, have, like, yeah, every I ma- skill. Yeah, I maxed out every, all the characters. Yeah. I did I did all of that for the game. Like It's been a while since I've done everything for a game. And a game as massive as something like Final Fantasy VII, like, they did a very good job. and yeah. it, it was very time-consuming, but I enjoyed The only thing I didn't do was the damn... I just oh, need that one trophy. Thing. Yes, the damn <laughs> pull-ups with yeah. Tifa against... Uh, I forget what his name is. But that trophy is hard as hell to get. <laughs> so Square Enix, I need you to update that and make that dude easier. Because that get dude is fucking impossible. I can't platinum the game because of that. <laughs> that's that's that, that's my, my rant for the only thing I didn't like about Final Fantasy VII. The bosses are easier than the pull-ups. <laughs> dude, uh, some of those bosses... There's one part where I didn't even believe that I passed it. Like I did it in, just for shits and giggles thinking oh maybe i could pass it and then i actually did and i'm like oh shoot. like oh my god i actually did this like like those little crowning moments while you're playing you're as like, a player you're like, like i can't well yeah because you're like i can't believe i did this shit <laughs> and uh you do it and you're just sitting there like still left like i can't believe this just happened here's what i want you guys to do if you're still even watching this by this <laughs> time uh in the comments put your guys top five what you guys enjoyed game wise out of 2020 I want to see. I want to see what you guys thought of video games, because everyone had time for video games this year. Yeah. So started. that's our fi- top five games of the year, and hopefully 2021 has even better games. We will see.
But thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next video. See Bye. ya.